that's kind of uh, another kind of delight uh, using this machine and, and trade station. So you know, again, a big improvement on the uh, the Dell and the Microsoft operating system there. So those are four kind of pros that are specific to uh, running the trade station on a Mac. In terms of the Mac itself, you know, I have to say this comes down to you know kind of what everybody says about Macs. It just works and it does. You know, brought it home, hooked it up to the network, just used a password, bang, and it was connected, no problems. We went away uh, last weekend. Uh, hooked into a couple of different networks there no problems password in bang done it just works installing software is super easy um, the system controls uh, when you kind of come out uh, having a look here at the system controls uh, system preferences on the Mac these things are beautiful they're just uh, very elegant the Microsoft operating systems Windows 7 it has control panel and so on and you feel like you know everything's in control there but whenever I was running a, a Windows operating system there was always this feeling that there were other preferences or controls somewhere else that I could go to to, to tweak things or I had to go think to, to you know if there was a problem with a particular application the sense that you get in a Mac is that it's everything is here under the system preferences if you need to tweak an application you do that within the application kind of preferences up here um, so you've got kind of the services and the preferences for for something like here with Chrome uh, but then within uh, the actual um, Mac itself you've got everything within the system preferences and these things are very elegantly set out and there's no kind of gobbledygook in there and you know it's easy to understand and, and set up so you know that's kind of uh, been you know a revelation in you if you like in a way uh, the sixth pro would be again just talking about this kind of solid design the beauty of this kind of single piece of aluminium is that there are no joins everything's been built kind of all all in one uh, the machine therefore is very clean uh, the screen and the way it's kind of the beveled edge that it has uh, built into uh, the laptop to the top of the laptop is very um, uh, neat and clean and you can see that this is going to be an easier machine to keep clean and that there's not going to be kind of dust or, or dirt kind of collect collecting in little nooks and crannies in, in the uh, the way the computer's been put together so that's kind of nice um, the edges are a little bit sharp uh, but you have know, got used to that in a couple of days so that's kind of no drama pro number seven it's a very quick machine to start up you know 40 seconds uh, from a cold start uh, and everything's kind of running it after that so that's kind of nice and then the last uh, kind of pro is once you've bought a Mac, I feel as if I've joined this kind of Mac galaxy where, you know, all the other Mac uh, and Apple products kind of are easily integrated. The iPhone, the iPod, uh, the iPad, iTunes and so on. They just seem, I mean, the... Uh, Windows operating system versions of all of those programs and, and you know options is, is always there but it just seems like it's a more elegant integration into the Mac operating system I suppose as you would expect but you know that's kind of nice to feel that those things are kind of close by and and part of the whole kind of system so let's talk about cons um, and these cons aren't deal breakers they're really kind of adjustments that I have to make but the first one uh, is that you know with the the Mac you have a different keyboard layout and it does mean relearning all types of hotkeys and uh, within trade station that kind of gives me an opportunity to kind of rethink my hotkeys and remember you can always get to your hotkey settings uh, looking under view and then hotkeys and you can just assign different uh, hotkeys to start various um, parts of the program and I've kind of rethought all of my hotkeys uh, once again in order to you know make the optimum use of the keyboard layout uh, of the Apple Mac um, and so that takes a little bit of work the second um, comment I'd make is about Finder and Finder is uh, where all of your programs and documents are kept and to be honest I actually think that the uh, Windows operating system probably has a better way of arranging documents and the functionality of the documents. I've found you know, the, uh, the Mac uh, Finder and the way you kind of get around uh, the documents a little bit clunky uh, and not as intuitive as, as a PC, which is odd. And uh, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. First of all, you know, one of the big surprises was there's no cut and paste for a document. You can't just kind of move a document from one file to another by going uh, cut paste. You actually have to either drag and drop from one file to another or you have to copy and paste. Now, uh, there's a good reason for that when you kind of look into it from an Apple uh, kind of engineer's perspective is that they don't want you to cut 
and then forget to paste a document and then it kind of being left in limbo. So by having kind of copy paste and then going back to the original document and deleting that document in the original location, I agree that is kind of a safer means of, of kind of moving documents around. However, you do feel, as a friend of mine coined this term, this kind of Apple fascism about the way uh, you're supposed to use a Mac and the way things ought to work. Uh, there is a little bit of a, a Mac ethos and a, a way of working and moving in a Mac and, and this is the right way to do it and, and you know we're not going to kind of accept workarounds and you do feel that kind of fanaticism that kind of fascism coming over in the way the product is designed and things but you know the upside of that is the machine is rock solid you know you don't feel as if adding or deleting applications is slowing your machine down and clogging up the registry and all of those things so you know I'd r much rather have that and kind of stick to the program uh, than have something that makes you know degrades over time the registry gets all you know clogged up with miscellaneous information and then the machine just the performance kind of degrades over a period of time so it is different and you have to get used to something that's a little bit different but you know that's not such a bad thing so I'm not uh, you know it's not a deal uh, breaker from my perspective the third con is you will have to get used to different applications and even things like you know Excel and Word uh, on the Mac you know do work differently I suppose you could run you know your existing version versions of Word, Excel, and this is Word, Excel, and PowerPoint here uh, within the Parallels kind of desktop and keep with your Windows implementation. But to be honest, that's not the right way to do things. If you bought the Mac, you might as well use the Mac versions of the uh, the uh, application. So that will take some getting used to. There are Mac versions of pretty much every PC uh, type of application, but it'll take a little bit of hunting around to find the best application and some relearning in terms of functionality. And then the last con was uh, just there's a pop up kind of thing. For some reason, TradeStation seems to pop up uh, randomly uh, in Mac. Now, this is probably this is a teething kind of problem, a little bit of a glitch. It's probably a setting that I've done wrong. So I'll probably figure this out in the next couple of weeks what it is, but at the moment, it's a little bit of a niggling uh, kind of complaint, but you know, it, it is not a downside. It's something I've, I've made up along the way so yeah I'm not sure what it is anyway so uh, having said that you know very happy with uh, the, the Mac and running TradeStation on a Mac there's a couple of suggestions I'd have I would uh, include this particular program this is a thing called size up uh, on the Mac this is very nice uh, for kind of moving around windows and you can do various things you can move windows to half screen top bottom left right and so on and even uh, kind of quarter uh, screens here moving them around and so that helps kind of being able to uh, uh, manage the uh, the screen um, space that you've got unfortunately that doesn't actually happen to work uh, within uh, TradeStation so I kind of uh, run those applications on top, top of the TradeStation window uh, while I'm trading and then you know some ongoing learning required to be honest I've not found a good blog or a good uh, you know website that kind of tells me I just have this niggling feeling in the back of my mind that I'm not well I know I'm not using this machine to its optimum uh, capability there's a Mac way of working and there's a PC way of working and I've been working in the PC uh, mode for too long and I don't know the tips and tricks and the little secrets that you need to get the full functionality of moving around a Mac moving between applications uh, you know most efficiently and getting your kind of um, just your workday efficiency up to, to the greatest to be honest I'd, I'd love some kind of blog or some kind of ongoing learning program where it teaches you every day a little tip or a trick to be able to work more effectively so I feel as if I'm working at kind of 80% efficiency at the moment on this machine not because of the machine it's because you know I just don't know all of the tips and tricks for being able to do that and there will be a, a learning curve to, to get that I've got to kind of get up in order to uh, uh, to start working at optimum efficiency and then the last thing that you know the the Mac has kind of made me feel is that you know there's an elegance of uh, the way that the Mac is implemented and the way that the Mac applications kind of work and to be honest the way that you know a lot of my code has uh, grown up over the years um, probably needs some tweaking I need to uh, uh, you know I was thinking about this the other day I was thinking about uh, just looking I'm just bringing out the format settings for better pro-am as an example uh, if you look at the impacts input settings for Proam, I've got you know a dozen or so different input settings. That's too many. It's too complicated. Most of these things you just need the default settings, or you can change the colors. Uh, you know, under the colors setting, I don't know why. You know, I, I particularly um, set set out these kind of uh, color settings as inputs and so on. There's an elegance about the Mac that I ought to be able to take into first of all my my programs and my my code, and also to the website uh, to be able to make make things things should just work out of the box. You know, you 
shouldn't have to uh, really understand uh, the nitty-gritty and the details of, of different indicators and setups and so on. You, you should just be able to load the chart and just be able to take the signals from there. So, and then you know when it's getting around the uh, you know my site's kind of gotten a little bit too complicated and there's too much information there and it's not well organized and 